Hello everyone and welcome back to Steel Division 2. Today we are continuing the New Year tournament with the semi-finals. You can take a look at the challenge on my last... Well, actually I'll put it in the comment if you want to take a look. Beware though, these will contain massive spoilers. But if you don't care about that, you can check out the standings. Today we'll be taking a look at Erwin Rommel playing on a... Uh, Maverick Income with Panzerverband uh, Strachwitz with once some noob on a balance income with 16 Panzer. This ought to be... I I would think Panzerverband has a better chance than 16 Panzer, but also Panzerverband is one of my favorite division ever, along with 70 SC and Festung Dunkirchen. Um, so, obviously there there is a scale difference here between Once and Noob and Rommel, um, but still, I mean, Once and Noob has put himself, I think, in a delicate situation. So, let's go take a look at the deck. We'll be taking a look at Once and Noob first. He's going to be playing with the full deck, not taking any of the challenges offered by the tournament. Um, he's going to be going with um, a lot of Recon Car in A and B phase. Some of Clara Panzer in B phase, replacing... He doesn't take any of these guys. He's got six in phase B, um, but I think the cost... Yeah, these guys cost two points. Plus, the Recon Panzer for a really, really good... Any tank... Any recon tank is extremely good, and you actually ought to take them. And I know uh, some of them are weaker than their counterpart that you could get into the um, the proper tank tab, but it doesn't really matter because often just your tank will be able to see the enemy before they see you, and that gives you the advantage of the first shot. And especially if you take them two star, then you got more rounds per minute and accuracy. I have a little cough, so uh, sometimes I put the mic on mute so that you don't hear me cough. But I've been coughing for quite severely for, for some days now, but uh, especially at night. But anyway, um, all right, so we're going to get 66 infantry. That's not a lot, but it is 16 Panzer. Uh, you get some Panzer Grenadier, uh, some coming in half tracks as well. You got a Stump Pioneers with more Panzer Grenadier, and then a, a C face card of half track Panzer Grenadier unvetted. That's 32. 16 Panzer as this is the MG34 no pioneers but I mean it is the map is sloots remember we all play on sloots the entire tournament takes place on sloots uh, you can pick any tree map of sloots so DQC is not that important I mean it can be but it's not that important um, then we're going to get some Panzer 4 leaders to trees tiger leaders king tiger in a phase so we we got to hope that he's going to deploy with a King Tiger and uh, try to meme like the good old game we would see sometime with uh, Quattro U or um, some others. Long forgotten heroes. Um, but yeah, so Stug Trees and B-Face also in a leadership position with the Tiger E. And then in B-Face, we're going to get two King Tigers. So not a lot of tank for B-Face or C. I mean, he is playing on a balance income, but he doesn't have that much C unit. So he's definitely counting on keeping his tanks alive and, and pushing the extra income with support units, uh, which could work. It could work, um, but I don't know. Personally, I'd, I like to have a lot of um, availability when playing a balance income because you never know how long the game's going to go. In this case, it can only go at 15 minutes, but still, um, 9 Panzer IV could have not hurt, but whatever. There's some MG42, Grille, Panzer III, um, Commander, more MG42 in Phase B, definitely to uh, compensate for the fact that there's not a lot of infantry, and uh, that it is sluice. You can pretty much do your entire game with machine gun if you really wanted. Um... Some supplies, Panzer Shrek Pack 40. There's Mobile Triple A. And then we get two 81mm mortars, three Nebel Werfers, 
2, Nebuchadnezzar, 300 mil, a lot of rocket artillery. Um, they are good. I would have, I would like someone to play with four half track, 81 mil mortar. This is what I call my wolf pack. It is very efficient, but it, it does cost a lot. It's just two, two of them. Um, for me, just isn't enough. It doesn't matter. Let's go to the air phase. Uh, we get some recon. I think they do have bombs on them. Yeah, two fifty kilogram napalm bombs. Uh, there's a difference. And then you get the uh, Fokker Wolf with some Fokker Wolf fighter um, fighters. You also get in phase A Fokker Wolf AT, and then in phase C you get five Fokker Wolf A8. Fokker Wolf are really good strafers. Um, but their resilience is medium, which isn't that bad when the enemy doesn't have a, a bigger net, um, a bigger, you know, AA net. But uh, now you get five of them, double star. I mean, why not? I wish these planes could come with leaders that would put them to triple star when you use a leader plane. A, a huge waste of opportunity, in my opinion, when you get these ace um these ace don't do anything. They should be leaders providing a, a vet boost to any troops around or um, maybe a resilience boost, you know? That would be great. That would be cool. Uh, but of course, since the ace are uh, coming with paid DLC, it, it could probably be seen as pay to win. So I understand. But at this point in the game, maybe they should just do it anyway. <laughs> All right, let's go take a look at Erwin Rommel's deck over here with Panzerwerbe and Strachwitz. So he's going with 65 infantry, some pioneers and Panzergrenadier in phase A. Then more pioneers coming in half tracks with Panzergrenadier and Pen Panzergrenadier all the way again in C phase. Uh, a lot of problems people have with Panzerwerbe is that it doesn't have a lot of infantry and in, in a way it's a little bit true but it's also a little bit false because well now that the patch gives 32 infantry that change a bit you know uh, before it was 24 27 I think anyway it changes a bit uh, but still you gotta come and get your infantry from the recon tab you get two cards of fusillier three six nine and one card of Erkundungs with the uh, TNT. So you get six of them in phase A, and then you can either take, you know, uh, six and then nine, or you can take four, four, eight. Uh, well, anyway, it's a it's an infantry boost, definitely, and um, that's what you gotta do. But Rommel decided to go with the Alfklara instead, two star Alfklara, both in A phase, um, and both coming with the Kubel MG. So twenty points. Uh, and uh, they get a extra recon. So basically, it is eight recon that he's decided to go with. In the tank section, we're gonna get some Panzer II Luke's, Panzer III H, Panzer IV J, Panther J, and a Panther J Führer, all in phase A. So that's a lot of tanks. Um, but it could be funny if he loses his Panther Js early in the game. Um, it could be game over for him because it's so expensive uh anyway and then he's going with four panther j total in phase b not a lot of tanks he's going with the SKFZ he support weapon some machine gun and a lot of opel blitz truck one in a one in b and a leader uh a commander in the anti-tank tab, he's going with four panzer shrek and five pack 40s and b so basically he doesn't have any at gun in a phase and that's a little bit dangerous especially considering all the recon cars that once a noob has it could be daunting for sure he does have these guys um but recon car you often kill them at high level gameplay you often kill them with hidden at guns or things like that in my experience anyway um yeah all right. Anti-air, we're going with Flak 36. These are the lesser version of the uh, Flak 36. They shoot 90 rounds per minute instead of 136, I think. So um, usually you would probably want to upvet them at least once. 
Uh, especially you got the mobile wagon coming with you, so that's fine. And these guys, you definitely don't need to up that. But if you don't count on taking four of them in a maverick income, that's also respectful. Uh, respectful that um, you you would only take two anyway, so might as well have them up vetted. Then we're going with oh, <coughs> oh boy, we're going with only pencil waffers and Waframen. and the off map. Uh, 203 mil, two of them on Sleuth, quite dangerous because there's a lot of open ground, the enemy AA can see you. Uh, I would have to imagine that these guys would be used only in case the enemy breakthrough and the artillery is uh, far, the AA is far behind. But they also have 2k, uh, 250 kilogram bombs, so they can also be used after uh, their discharge. Um, as a fighter bomber but i really question the idea of not having oh boy not having the wolf pack or not having mortars or anything like that because um well these guys are extremely effective at what they do and then in the air tab we're going with six ar-196 recon they also have bombs 250 kilograms and uh one stuka rudel who has the AT guns on him with three Fokker Wolf and two Stukas and B, uh, two AT two Stukas and two BO two seventeen. I'm really wondering how this is gonna go. It sounds interesting. Um. It sounds interesting. I'm just really worried here in the artillery department. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, I'm really worried. Um, I don't think he's going to be able to make much progress with these Stukas and Recon Plane. Um, considering here, once some noob does have two mobile wagon and a face, I mean, these guys, the Stukas are not going to, to keep these guys from uh, accomplishing their mission. And then, of course, the SDK Z71 will be extremely powerful as well. But not only that, you also have the fighter airplane. I think fighter airplane are overrated currently. Uh, I mean, AA is so efficient and so good that unless you play the Soviets, you don't really need fighter planes as the German. Of course, though... If he intends to use them just as for strafers and, you know, kill of opportunities on other airplanes, that's fine. And it's a sound logic for sure. It's just that um, these cost a lot. If if you have them purely for, if you have anti uh, airplane purely for fighter position, um, I wouldn't waste my money or time with that. Uh, but I do sometimes anyway. <laughs> uh We'll get to the game, guys. We'll get to the game, so take a note these decks, and I'll see you soon. All right, and so here we are with Rommel on the red corner and Once a Noob on the left corner, both starting up with some Recon Airplane. Want some noob will try to deviate from them a little bit, maybe try to maneuver a little bit there. He doesn't and he dies. Alright, these guys going to target the Pencil Shrek, I believe. There you go, kills them. What a poor start for one some noob, supposed to be the better player. Uh, but here he is, starting with the King Tiger and a mobile wagon, of course, because you want to protect this. There's not a lot of units on the ground currently. There's no one actually... Oh yeah, these guys are now going for that. Um, he's going to be trying to stop the uh, reinforcement from coming. He could very well kill these guys unless he dies first, but I doubt he dies from two bombs like that. Yeah, there you go. He's going to keep going. Fucker 190! Coming in and killing the AR-196. And I think he killed another one. Uh, but but we're not seeing it. I see a plume of smoke here. I don't see any more. I see one here. 
But it doesn't matter. There's a... Uh, wow, 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 wow. Who the hell is that? This is very bold. Very strange. Uh, he's going to bring his recon all the way over here. I don't know exactly what he intends to do with that. Um, we should have kept maybe this guy in the truck if that was the plan. But, yeah. <coughs> over here, we have a painter that almost engaged with the Tiger, but decided to go along. The Fokker Wolf... The SPW233, someone killed that little recon car. Now, Hudel is coming in for the King Tiger. Will that mobile wagon? Yes, he will definitely be able to stop that thing. And especially, you, you gotta have a certain finesse if you wanna maneuver these AT Stukas. Fokker Wolf coming in for the kill, maybe? No, not even. He could have. I, I must imagine he thinks there's some AA around here if there's an important unit like this Stuka. Um,. He will live to fight another day. Over here, we're getting overwhelmed. Uh, now, you know, Rommel knows that there's a King Tiger and a lot of points invested here means almost nothing here. It doesn't matter though, there's a GO 145B recon that's going to be coming to help that Panzer IV um, kill these guys. Nothing here can destroy it. That's not true, actually. These guys can kill the Panzer IV with 100 mil heat round at 1250 meter. The Panzer IV should probably be better just to exactly what I was going to say. Just go over here in the open ground and take and take them from a distance. A Tiger Führer is going to be coming in here as well. I hope more infantry on the way as well to support these guys. But, you know, there is a recon. There is no... Oh, there you go. SPW-233 did kill both of these units. Now the Panzer Grenadier could cross around here and try to... Oh, they already captured that flag. There you go. 59 for Rommel currently, 14, oh, 59 as he captures another flag. Over here, the Königsteiger will be taken, I imagine, this flag. Uh, Panzer IV shoots the SDKFZ. <coughs> There's a mobile wagon traveling with the King Tiger. Think uh, Tiger will take care of more troops around here due to his large range. And the recon there. One dies from the Panzer IVs. Well, there's almost nothing around here. Panther J. Or is it G in English? I always mix those two. Uh, I think it's G. Panther G coming in. We'll try to get that Tiger on the side. Really good idea. Plus, uh, there's not a lot of recon. There is one PO Basher. Um, I wonder if he'll detect that. I doubt it. I mean, he could get on the King Tiger's side without even being seen by that little Batcher. We're struggling. We're struggling over here. There is another recon coming in on this hill. Uh, once a noob has taken this flag back, and now it is now currently 13-11. Erwin Rommel is doing good for a uh, Maverick income, but he's going to have to work hard to kill that King Tiger or else that King Tiger will control these flags. It is certainly possible there's two Panther J around here. And both of them are on a flanking position. He could even just come in here. Oh no, he couldn't. He couldn't, could he? Yeah, he could. Because that Tiger will move only its turret. Found the thumbnail. Fokker Wolf coming in to destroy the GO 145B. There is no AA around here, so he will succeed. That guy starts shooting, but a little bit too late. This Fokker Wolf will try to get on his tail, but I don't think he's going to be fast enough, even though he dropped his bombs. Yeah, once a new will go away. Uh, almost kills them, though. Really damaged them heavily. He only needs another one on this hill, and he would do a lot more kills. Panzer IV kills the Panzer III. Oh, this one was hit badly by the King Tiger. King Tiger is not scared. He's going to move in front. There's two Panther J. They need to hit with the APCR, though. Uh, such a large charge. It's rare that I say that, but you need to hit this, this guy with the APCR. Um, APCR does 250 mil damage on a 1750. So I would suggests he advance he moves 
just a little bit or you know like like he does he can actually just wait but i doubt once some noobs a guy who's gonna put his king tiger into uh need less um how do i say that need less dangers really that panzer 4 is doing a lot of damage control for uh this open ground now more infantry coming in as well but here we're having some recon the old batcher will actually be put in the middle of the street there's a uh, panzer 2 loops panzer shrek advancing there's not a lot of reinforcement coming in this way or this way this flag has been retaken by rommel which puts him at 15-9 42 minutes remaining to the game. Or so the counter says. Alright, we're having a nice little engagement here. Tanks, half tracks, infantry. A nice attack. I reduced my graphics a little bit just because uh, we don't need insane graphics and it's just kind of flowing when I zoom and things like that. I'm gonna try to zoom a little bit less, but there you go. Some shots were fired by the Panzer Veffers. Uh, at that distance, though, not gonna do a lot of damage. Uh, I don't detect any damage whatsoever on that King Tiger. Just some suppression. It's a big waste of ammo. Uh, you want to use these guys to soften, soft target, um, in my opinion. Pilot kill right here. I've had a player use, <laughs> like, uh, I think he had six or ten of them. He had a lot of them. And he would continuously harass me with these guys. It's the same deck, uh, Defense of Abon. And he would harass me and he had so much supply but i mean he just bought so much of these and that yeah sure it was annoying uh, but in the end you know you don't win games like that um we'll see we'll see what happens he's he's bringing another stuka at he knows there's an airplane threat looming around there's a lot of fucker wolf enemy what is he doing oh no he thinks Oh my god, what is he doing? There's no air cover here. I think he wants to take a frontal engagement with the Fokker Wolf, but I know once some noobs not going to be stupid enough to um, play into this little thing he's doing here. He's kind of baiting him to do so. Over here, the AR. I think he's going to be coming with the AR, hoping that now this is going to get once some noob to engage in the frontal and also, he does need, you know, recon to activate this plane. Now, once a noob looked like he's going to be wanting to go behind him. And he, 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 he kind of does. He kind of did get him on the side. Now, he really need, he just needs to do another maneuver, not get in front of him. <coughs> I wonder if he's microing right now. He looks like he is because that's a good position. He's on oh, no. And there you go, this guy's going down. It is beyond comprehension why you would want to do that and, and keep your planes out when uh, there's such a threat down, down there. Over here, the battle still goes on. The uh, Pack 40 shouldn't be able to see that Panther, but he does, and that Panther does as well. And, uh, and there you go, now he's retreated back. You gotta be careful with the line of sight tool, doesn't always tell the truth. Over here we have three Fokker Wolf 
in the open and a lot of a really 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 thin red line two panther four one panther one panther that died somewhere around oh it is not going good it is not going good for the hunt of the big cat and oh that's a panther that advanced here and got destroyed by maybe the panther four or i don't know what we missed it obviously but uh whew. not going good like 40 coming in when you play a maverick income against a balanced player you really gotta go strong you gotta go strong and you gotta relentlessly keep going because the only advantage you get will be in phase a if you succeeded in crushing your opponent's deployment and then in phase b to press on that attack that assault that you that you did in uh in a phase now currently rommel is a bit all over the place He's, re he's stretched really, really thin, and once a noob, he's building his forces. He doesn't seem like he's losing a lot of uh, units. He's bringing half a wolf pack. We'll call it the ducklings. He's bringing the ducklings, and uh, these together could do a lot of damage, especially with the radio. Uh, he could just shoot there and and kill some stuff if, if these guys don't move around. Pants of Effort will start shooting at the Koenig's Tiger. Doubt it's going to do much. Oh, get on the side though. That's dangerous. That's really dangerous. You really don't want to put your tank on the side from incoming anything, really. Because even airplanes and rockets use the armor side. Um... Oh, there you go. He does. Shoot at the uh, Panzer IV with radio. <coughs> He's gonna move right away. These guys are moving back. Panzer IV was damaged quite a bit by these. Back 40 starts shooting HD shells. He's also got his, his APCR here, uh, which isn't a good thing. I guess, though, against the uh, Koenig's Tiger would be good. But still, HE means that he's now being discovered. And uh, King Tiger, yeah, okay, I, I was I was surprised. But the Pack 40 doesn't have Recon. He doesn't see that. The SDKFZ will start shooting at these guys. Over here, it is still just walking for once some noob. Taking position. Everyone over here is dying to the Panzer IV in the middle of the street. Um, but there is a Bazooka here. There's also a Bio Batcher. Uh, that could prove dangerous, but you never know. Bazooka could come in over here, you know, do some maneuvers. Of course, Rommel doesn't know that there's no infantry in those houses. He's going to go... Wow! How do you do that? How do you have so much points that you can buy all of this uh, almost at the same time, in the same minute? This is extreme. Uh, but you get a Panther J, two Panzer trees, two Panzer four. They're going to try to push around here. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Is the Pack 40 going to get the King Tiger? APCR on the side, but actually misses his first shot. Bounce. Uh, yeah, Pack 40's got a decent chance there, I do believe. Bounce. Oh no. He sees that, he's gonna retreat right away. Fortunately, it does good for him. Ocker Wolf AT coming in for this Panther. Still no AA cover. Even though with this, with this, with the Stukas. Oh my god, with the Pack 40s, why isn't there no AA cover when there's so many planes around? Once a noob just did such a noob move here. Should have come from the side and shoot that guy on the side. Um... Especially since there's no AA, his airplanes are left running. Uh, there's, well, there's airplanes, but these guys could die easily. But there you go. 
Oh no. Want some new kind of maneuvers out of this? Walker Wolf AT coming in behind that one. We'll kill it. And there you go. And now it is. And that's why you need AA. You need AA. He's bought another airplane and completely missed his uh, his entry into the game. Uh, that would have been his occasion to actually appear like uh, right about now. Boom. Oh no, I think this one just went out of fuel. These guys are retreating, but he'll be able to move away, especially so there's Ezekiel out there. Uh, so even if he goes faster, and he does go faster, but even so... This is because that will murder these guys. King Tiger will move to the left, which is the south for us. Uh, I'm sorry, why do I always get these <laughs> mix? The north, the north. All right, another round of Panzerwerfer. Uh, so far, has proved completely useless. He needs to use these against, you know... I don't know, like, uh, over here. He wants to push over here. You do these, and then you move in with your infantry. This is a tactic to be used. These guys are supposed to support your soul. Got two in the face. He's falling back. Did a little bit of damage. I guess decent enough this time. But still, it took one supply trucks in three rounds. Waframan should do better, but he needs to get closer. These guys are putting some smoke. Panzer 4 over here dies to the pack 40. Smoke over here going to save the day for a little bit. There's a pack 40 coming in here. Then that forest will try to take these guys out. Pack 40 will destroy the Panzer trees. I mean, uh, Panzer 4 will destroy these guys, but the pack 40 as well. I, I wonder if once a noob will retreat his Panzer 4 to the pack 40. In order to kill that Panther G. Still coming with airplanes. <clears throat> Such hard. Yes, there you go, Panzer IV. Uh, uh, once a noob actually retreats, we'll get. Oh no. Rommel sees that in time. I don't think he's going to advance any further. Um, Bazooka actually got the Panzer IV. Finally. Oh, Pan oh, Panther dies, actually. There you go. Dies to. Uh, I would say this one. <clears throat> Too much people are dying right now for Rommel. These guys are going to target at the AA. This is very dangerous. Open top canopy, mobile wagon. Do not fare well against Mortars. There's more Fokker Wolf now. There's so much Fokker Wolf. And the reason why is because none of them are dying. A single AA piece would have helped so much. Oh, no. <clears throat> yeah, once a noob will just retreat and uh, pull these guys into an ambush that Rommel should know there is. He's still going after it. He's lucky once a noob is not manually, manually targeting these guys. <clears throat> Over here, we're going against the mobile wagon, but we're not going to be able to. They weren't suppressed in time by the mortars. <clears throat> A lot of useless units right now. They're... They don't have much to do. They're even going to remove themselves and go to the northern front. Uh... But by this time, once a noob has so much on the ground. 13-11 for once a noob. <coughs> uh, 
We're shooting at the Ezekiel. Is that a really good move there? I'm surprised. Oh, there you go. Once the noob's actually moving it away. Hopefully, he sees that. He does have the recon to see it. And he... <clears throat> don't shoot. Oh, no. You gotta put these units on return fire if you're not going to micro them. There's another Verfremen coming in. That's a lot of income, my friends. A lot of income. For a like this guy needs to play on a balance income. He cannot do that. And there you go, fighter bomber coming in. But now finally we're seeing Ezekiel Z 7-1. Combo with these Fokker Wolf. There you go. This guy might die now. Being alone. You always want to send your planes in pairs if possible. Oof. Not looking good. He actually survives. But there's another one. Ezekiel Z coming in. And he's not going to be able to replicate that. He's being too dangerous with his airplane. Uh, once a noob is looking to profit from that. <clears throat> Verframen coming in the middle of the road. Wow, that is bold. Oh, no. Oh. Mamma mia. Wow, 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 wow. How frustrating that must be. Another Koenigstiger. Um, no, that's the same. No, that's another Koenigstiger. And now there's the Nebel Werfer 300 mil from Once Some Noob. These guys are getting wide. And we're getting... Unfortunately, it was a poor shot, but now that the Panther has come right into it, it could result to some death, especially the 300 mil. Now, this is the one you want to use against heavy targets, not the 150. He could still retreat in time if he sees... Doesn't doesn't look like he sees it at all. Ouch. There you go. Alright. Another King Tiger coming in, that's three on the map. And so by definition, this is going to be the thumbnail, a King Tiger. And most likely, I'll put the Panzerwerfers uh, because uh, they've been uh, the significant weapon uh, misused, in my opinion, but still. <clears throat> Probably the title will be Big Cats Hunt the Hunt. Tiger E being called in. Big tree, more machine gun. 1410 for one some noob. Now back to 1311. Enter J going for the machine gun. Rommel decided to try to recapture this flag. Could not do it. Going to die to the King Tiger.
Yeah. You don't want to leave your stuff in the open when there's king tigers around. AR-196 going out again, unsupported, will die to the AA even. No, nah, so. These guys gonna be targeting. Again, miss targeting. Want some noob retreating into it? He's putting himself in danger again by... By going on the side. Tensor 4 tried to take advantage of that, uh, but uh, now he realized he kind of overshoot. Half tracks were changed position. Now that the fight is concentrating over here, once Anub has brought some asset, there's a commander finally gonna put some veterancy to these tanks. And same King Tiger two star now. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good stuff. Nebelwerfer is going again blind. Will not hit anything. Well, maybe that Opel Blitz, but it has zero ammo truck. Really, really hmm, bad decision there. He can't afford them, though. A really, really slow battle today in the evening of Slutsk. Nebel Verfer is ready to hit into nothingness. Fans are gonna deal. We'll start to come over here for uh, the flag. At the same time, Rommel is calling a unit over here. More Panther J's are being called in. These, they don't do anything. It kind of makes me think of that video I made a long time ago. It was titled, Stop Taking Panthers. And, um, oh, perfect shot this time. Yeah, it was called Stop Taking Panthers. And I go on a long rant on um, how people should stop taking Panthers, basically, because they cost a lot and um, players will get them killed easily. All right, this ought to do to get some kills. Oh, first shot, first kill. And no. Oh, no. All right, one died. Over here, the flag will go to want some new for the time being. Some smoke being put here. These guys are being suppressed by the end. There you go. One kill from the mortars. Two star mortars now. And uh, especially when you're going against, like, if I were to play Panzer Verben and I'd play 16 Panzer, I would have heavily invested into those four mortars. And then um, with the luck of, you know, some radio hidden somewhere, you can definitely, definitely kill the Koenigs Tigers with four half track mortar. It, it does cost 400 points, but these guys cost 300 each, right? So you get here, you kill one. You kill another one you try anyway you try or you actually concentrate on the few mobile aa that the enemy has you know it, it it offers variety rather than just calling in more panthers that don't do much back 40 here with the apcr i think bounces he's got one last shot 
Will he shoot in time? Yes. And misses. <coughs> Over here, the SGFZ dies. There you go. The off mat coming in. Will he be able to shoot before he gets target? No, it doesn't look like unless he shoots right away. As soon as this guy suppress, Oh, there you go. Now he can't. He will die unless the AA shift targets to these dudes. Oh, why? Why does he go deep into... Oh, my lord. That's a two-star. Hmm. He's lucky once a noob is not prioritizing target. Not focu focusing on a single target. But this guy's going down. And for some reason, this guy wasn't shooting. That's strange. 59 now for Rommel. It says minor defeat in 5 minutes, but it's also said 17 minutes remaining to the game. Is there something happening in those 17 minutes? Or is that... Oh, okay. That is just the time limit. 15 minutes. They, they put the time limit in game. Alright, this guy... Oh, this guy... These are 150 mil. They might not die, but they are more precise because they're closer. And there's three of them, so there's a bigger chance. I hope we're going to be able to see that in action. I wonder who's this guy shooting. Oh, he's shooting at the uh, Panzer. All right, let's take a look at that. Oh, direct hit. And there you go, kills. Oh, my lord. What happened there? He actually shot them with the pencil reference and got a lot of kill. Good work. That's probably the best move Rommel did today. And these guys, this is this is what you want to use these guys for. Soft target. Over here, once a noob kills the SDKFZ, unfortunately, for Rommel. Because now he's got a Panther that is uh, going to get destroyed by airplane. Um... But yeah, they, this is what these guys are used for. And they did their job tremendously well here. It ultimately doesn't really matter for one some noob. Uh, but still. And he did get a kill here. But still, like these are expensive coming in with the multi ammunition truck. That's 40, 60 assists, that shouldn't have this. So that's uh, 200 points lost to these guys. These guys are 100, but together. Oh, there's only one remaining. All right. <laughs> this pens are going to do going down. With the ducklings now focusing their shot at him. Boat outside in the neighbors. There you go. Starting to be pinned down a little bit scared. Oh, directly on the house. People died. More people are dying now. They're going to retreat from there as the mortar stops firing. They just couldn't bear it. <laughs> and here comes the knife. Yes, once a noob, we saw you. He did that definitely for the meme. And let's take a look at these glorious last minute of uh, of the game like this. From the SDKFZ view. We see airplanes over here. There's rockets, artillery shooting in the distance. And the cavalry is coming. There you go. Two airplanes going down. One's gonna retreat home. These guys arriving into town. Passing the mighty King Tiger. Panthers in the distance destroyed. Panzer fours, I think. Oh, Panzer fours here, definitely. Lots of lots of uh, transport. One more Panzer four. Some Panzer four destroyed along the way. Oh, these guys are now being destroyed. 
there's something happening in here. Looks like they're going to exit town. One of them died just over here. They're going to... Oh, actually getting shot here. There's only one, two, three, four, five. Five left. Mortars are shooting. Nebelwerfers are landing. Airplane right here coming in. That's the Stuka. He just destroyed one uh, SPW over here. This guy's the only one to have made it from everyone that was in front of him. Oh, that Suka just crashed landed. Well, he did crash landed. He just died. <laughs> and there you go. There's a big push around here. This is impossible to destroy now. And the Rambo's not even trying. He knows. Wow, 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 wow. Well, there is a scale difference, you know, let's not forget about that. Rambo is not a bad player, but he did a lot of questionable move. And against an opponent like Once Some Noob, you cannot afford to make these mistakes because he will take advantage of it. Thirty-five to sixteen for Once Some Noob. Walker Wolf. Killed every plane in sight. Pack 40. Did fine. A lot of transport here. Panzer Grenadier did really good. Panzer Waffer 150 mil. And that's the one. He killed one Nebel Werfer, two Multi Truck. And who who else killed the Nebel Werfers? Where did we miss these guys? There's something wrong with the game because there is two Nebel Werfers that died and we only see one. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And in the losses for once some noob, uh, he did a lot of damage. You can see the difference between both units. This soccer wolf took care of a lot of stuff. Uh, SPW 233 as well. The Panzer 4 as well. Um, just everyone, everyone had a good day. This guy did good. Okay, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, game. Next video will probably be the finals between uh, Steel Division Normandy 44, 12 to 12 versus Willard. And then we'll be continuing with the New Year tournament. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Goodbye. Like and subscribe.